Hey you guys, it's Shine and welcome to another video. This one is kind of weird. I know I haven't been making fish content in a long time now, but I just wanted to explain a little bit about that. How <laughs> fins and whiskers wouldn't be fins and whiskers without the fins. And a large, if not the only part of my fish content is autosynclus and how we were able to breed them and we are the only fully documented breeder on YouTube so although it's been very rewarding it's also been the hardest thing I've ever had to do alone because it sounds so amazing to be the only one to breed a fish and raise them to an adult version of them. It has been really stressful. Corrections that I make are only based on my experience. Now I know it's very important to never give up and you guys at the aquarium community have helped me so much and I thank you guys for that so very much. I don't know what I would do without you guys' support so thank you a lot for that. I really wouldn't be this far without you guys. But that being said, it can be a little discouraging when I can't figure out why some of the fry are doing amazing having a healthy standard visually but then all of a sudden they just deplete uh, even sometimes when there were food when there was food that they were eating next to them they just stopped eating it and I couldn't understand why so it's been really frustrating and so a lot of the unknown is why it's been so hard for me uh, I always want to encourage you guys to try with me and share your experiences with me because it would be so helpful for us. It's still so important that we find a way to efficiently breed these fish in captivity because again they are stunned in the wild in cyanide just to be captured and sold at fish markets or local fish stores and things like that. There are no breeders for autosynclus because it's been such an unknown feat to achieve and so that's why it's still important and I will still keep trying uh, right now I'm just struggling and I thought I'd be honest with you guys and tell you that. I also want to mention some of the activity that's going on in that tank right now. Uh, right now I have two female autosynclus that look very full and they do very much look like they're about to pop and decide to spawn any moment now, but they haven't. I don't know if they're waiting for me to do a water change, and I will be honest, I have been discouraged to do a big water change. Um, I'm not really sure how long they wait to spawn. I have done some water changes in the past, but that didn't necessarily always encourage them to spawn. Uh, I've only spawned autosynclus twice and so there's still a lot that I need to know like how long they store these eggs for and when they decide to fertilize. It's still so very uncertain. All that being said, I'm not really sure where I'm taking autosynclus breeding right now but the filming has been hard um, I am going to still try to breed them, of course, maybe not so, with so much intention for a little bit now, but I will still try and maybe I won't film everything like I used to, uh, but the good and important part is, is that we've seen the fry grow from one of them, at least, from fry all the way to when it had its yolk sac and to the part where it grew into an adult so I'm really glad that I got to document those. I might not try so hard to get more film footage like that if they do decide to spawn again. It took a lot of time. I spent hours of my days worrying and staring at the fish tank to see and count all the fry and see if anything needed to be changed. Um, and filming also kind of was difficult during that time. I hope that we can get a more secure answer for breeding autosynclus and I hope that my videos can still pave a road for you guys to try and 
to see if you guys in your own aquarium tank find out information that I couldn't find out and that will help us in the future. It will be amazing and that's all I really want is for this autosync list to be able to breed in, a, in captivity because it's so important. Uh, that's the only reason why I care so much because they need it and it would be also really cool. I won't deny that. It's really cool and rewarding. I just feel so alone doing it right now and it's been taking a toll on me. But I thought I'd explain that. I know this is a short weird video but I don't know where I'm going to take fish content or if I'm going to be making a lot of it. I was thinking of making a video on how to keep autosynclus alive and not so much about breeding them but just autosynclus in general to help because I know they're pretty known for dying randomly and there are a lot of things that can explain that and help you but outside of that video I'm not sure where I want to take it. Uh, let me know what you guys want to see in the comments. Uh, even if I'm burned out a little right now I'd still love to know what you guys are interested in knowing and seeing because it will help us grow and um, that's the end goal. So I'm sorry this was a really short video for this week. I really wanted it to be inspirational but it just it, I couldn't, and I'm really sorry. So, thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you guys next time.